I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore trigonometric ratios in the domain of 0 to 360 degrees. Question is, consider the point P minus 4, 5 on the terminal arm of angle theta in standard position. Determine the exact value of primary trigonometric ratios and determine principal angle and related acute angle to the nearest degree. So let us first figure out where does that point belong. Now this point is minus 4, 5. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say that is the point P which is minus 4, 5. So we are saying that is y axis and this is x axis. Now the question is when this point is here, which is in quadrant 2, we need to find exact values of the primary trigonometric ratios. Now, in this quadrant, we are expecting sine to be positive and cos and tan to be negative, since we are in quadrant 2, right? Now, even before finding their exact values, first we need to find the hypotenuse, right? The arm length of the terminal arm which is defined by the origin and the point P. So that can be calculated as square root of 4 square plus 5 square. Right, so we can use calculator and find this value. Square root of 4 square plus 5 square equals to square root of 41. So we get square root of 41. So in this particular triangle we have x value which is equal to minus 4, y value is 5, and this r is equal to square root of 41. With these values, we can find exact value for all primary trigonometric ratios. Now, what is primary trigonometric ratio? Primary trigonometric ratio is sine theta. Let's say sine theta. So, when we say sine theta, we are looking for the principal angle theta, which is this much. So, that is sine theta, right? So the value of sine theta is equal to, in this particular triangle, what we can also see is that we have an acute angle here. So we can actually find with this acute angle, let's call this beta. Okay. So, and then we'll find all the values for these trigonometric ratios. For sine theta, it is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite side is 5, so we have 5 over square root of 41. So that is sine theta. For cos, we can write cos theta is equal to adjacent side which is minus 4 over square root of 41 and tan theta is opposite side which is 5 over minus 4. Do you see that? So with the result you can see Cosine and tangent are negative values as expected since we are working in quadrant 2, sine is positive, right? So we can find primary trigonometric ratios by finding the arm length of the terminal arm. Now part P is determine principal angle and related acute angle to the nearest degree. Now to find these angles, what we should do is we can actually either we can find this beta, we know we can use tan 5 over 4. Related acute means angle is less than 90. So we are expecting a positive answer, right? So we say tan of beta should be equal to 5 over 4. We have to take positive values. So beta is equal to tan inverse of 5 over 4, right? So what we consider actually is as a triangle here for acute angle where this angle is equals to beta. So we are working on this triangle. Okay. So we can use calculator to find this value. Tan inverse of 5 divided by 4 is equal to 51.34. Since we have to round our answer to the nearest degree, we can write this as 51 degrees. Correct? So that is the related acute angle. The principal angle will be, let's say theta is the principal angle, which will be 180 minus 51. So we'll do 180 
minus 51 which is equal to 129 degrees so the principal angle which is angle theta for us is 129 so we can write down our answer principal angle is 120 degrees. So angle theta and acute angle is 51 degrees okay so really speaking the acute angle is the angle which terminal arm makes with the horizontal axis and it is always considered positive so when you are finding the value of the acute angle imagine that this angle is in quadrant 1 okay and that is why we have calculated with 5 and 4 values not with minus 4 okay I hope you understand and appreciate that part the relative acute angle therefore is always positive whereas principal angle could is also positive but could be anywhere between 0 to 360 degrees in this case it is 129 degrees signifying that our terminal arm is in quadrant 2 i hope that helps thank you